Hello and welcome to the Black Hat Bushcraft channel. If you watched my last video, you saw me complete a bamboo fire saw friction fire. I was working with a good friend of mine, Joshua Ingert, who is the gray bearded green beret here on YouTube. If you've not subbed his channel, definitely head over, check him out. Excellent channel, tons of uh, really good information that you'll want to know. Uh, but I was working with Joshua, he explained to me the process, showed me how it all works, and on my first attempt, I was able to make fire. Now, I credit that a lot to him being an excellent instructor, and maybe partially me being an enthusiastic learner. Once I saw how to do that bamboo fire saw, I started thinking I need to add to my primitive fire skills with other techniques. And one that I've always wanted to do and understand, and just never had a chance to really practice on it much, is the hand drill. I live in the southeastern U.S. and it's humid here pretty much all year round. Winter, summer, it's just humid. All right now, I mean, I, I don't have sweat hardly evaporating off of me. It's just hot. And so friction, uh, friction fire with a hand drill is more challenging to say the least. The bow drill makes sense because A, we have a lot of perfect materials for making bow drill kits and the mechanical advantage that that bow creates helps you in those more humid conditions. However, I do want to own that skill of being able to make fire by hand drill, so I want to practice that on that skill set. So a while back, a friend of mine out in Arizona made for me a hand drill kit and sent it out to me, and I just haven't had a whole lot of time to work on it, so I wanted to bring it out in my camp today, really focus in on this thing and see if I can make an ember and make fire with it. And I want to give a quick shout out to Andrew Heath. I appreciate you making this kit for me. Congratulations once again. He was recently certified through the Pathfinder School as a certified instructor. So big congratulations out to you, Andrew. And once again, thanks for the kit. So hopefully I'll do it some justice here and create that amber and that fire. Stick with me and let's get started. Alright, so I've got all my materials prepared here. I've already got my notch cut in, burned in, spindles prepared, ready to go. I've got my tinder bundle set aside over here. And all I'm going to do is just see if I can create enough heat and build up the material, the dust in the notch, to create that ember. Again, this will be my first real good attempt at doing this. And as far as technique goes, I know there's a lot of different ways to do this. This just seems to be what I'm most comfortable with. Well, I had some dust fill up the notch, had a little smoke, and I don't think I'm creating quite enough heat. So we're gonna have to start over again. All right, so I got my new notch carved. Let's give this one more shot. At this point, I've got about one more run left in me. If I don't succeed here, probably just not going to happen today so let's hope this is the magic one See dust coming up, that's good. It's going right into the notch, so I'm happy about that. The notch is pretty full. I 
and I think I got it. Sweet. First time. I'm so excited about that. And it's a nice big whopping ember too. That's something. Frustration. Friction fire is one of them things you can never take for granted. Even though I got the ember, lost it in the tender bundle. Well, I did it once. I can do it again. off good it's my third one today third one today I'm tired 100 degree heat hand drill it's good training thanks for watching <laughs>